Unlimited Tomorrow. That's a company that uses 3D printing, scanning, and AI to create prosthetic devices. Now he's launched a crowdfunding campaign to raise enough money to give away 100 prosthetic devices. Here is Easton Lapachelle, who's with us on the show this morning. Easton, hey. welcome to the program. Hey, thank you so much. I'm told you actually started at 14 to yeah. create your first arm. I made my first robotic hand out of my bedroom in Colorado uh, when I was 14 years old. I pieced together household items like electrical tubing, fishing line, Legos as plastic supports, and turned my idea into reality. Why? Do you do prosthetic arms? What turns you on to that particular area of prosthetics? Well, I made my first hand when I was 14. Over the next couple of years, I started advancing using 3D printing to make four robotic arms. I entered this into a science fair where I met a small girl that had an $80,000 prosthetic limb that was simpler than what I was creating for a couple hundred dollars. It had individual finger motion, uh, uh, open, closed, human like claw, pretty much. That's what yours does. We, we go way beyond that. We have individual finger motions, so someone can grab and be very dexterous and very precise about what they, what they do. We have uh, fingernails for the first time that someone could paint. We have AI integrated. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of technology within this. Now, what's the difference in price? You, you mentioned an $80,000 arm for a young girl I mean, yeah. some time ago. Uh, what's the price of yours? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, really looking at children, they're, they're a really underserved demographic sure. of this market where it's almost like a pair of shoes. Every 12 to 14 months, you need a new one. We really built this business and the technology for scalability and for, for cost. So what's your price difference? So we can make this for about uh, a little under $10,000, and we're working to even okay. reduce that further. Now, you've not, you've not got these on the market yet, but you propose crowdfunding so you can actually give 100 of these arms to needy people. People, correct? Absolutely. But does that comply with the FDA? If you're not out there in the market yet, is that legit? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're in full compliance with the FDA. This is a class one medical device. That's a pretty straightforward process to the FDA. And it really comes back to the philosophy of Unlimited Tomorrow. We are a people, we're a business for people, powered by people. So we turn to crowdfunding and partnerships. Conventionally, it would take you know, tens of millions of dollars to launch a medical device company like this. And we turn to the crowd. Earlier this year, we raised $1.6 million through equity crowdfunding, which we turned to. Uh, we had 1,200 investors, accredited and unaccredited investors. And we have partnerships to gain that 20 million dollar value uh, through these meaningful relationships with Microsoft, Dassault Systems, Air Electronics, we're all these different verticals. We're working with HP that made this brand new technology that we can print in a very strong material yeah. in full color. So if I go to Unlimited tomorrow, I can crowdfund if I so wish. Yes, absolutely. We have a campaign right now called 100 Tomorrows in Indiegogo. You can go to unlimitedtomorrow.com and we're on the front page of Indiegogo and you can help us uh, donate the first 100 devices. Okay. It's a big, it's a big Eastern milestone. La Chapelle, Unlimited Tomorrow. Thanks for joining hey, us. Thank we you wish so much. you well. Love thank success. you. Thank you. Okay.